So we learned in the last lesson how we could run the mutability analysis and interpret the results. From the PCA plots that we obtained from mutability analysis, we can clearly see that the samples from 2015 form distinct clusters in comparison to the samples from 2009 based on the mutability data. Thus, it would be interesting to know which chromosomes or genes have variants between both groups of samples. One of the ways to address this question is by differential mutation analysis. So let's learn how we can perform differential mutation analysis based on NGS data from these two different years using the tBioInfo server. So to begin with the pipeline, we need to choose mutation variant analysis under the genomic section on the tBioInfo server. The parameters to be set will be as type of reference genome should be R genome GDF since here we are not using model organism. So we need to provide reference genome for desired organism that is Plasmodium falciparum. The format of NGS data should be FASTQ and it should be pair end for this example as we have taken the pair end read data. Next to upload the NGS data, we can do so by using multiple options. Files can be uploaded as FTP or SVL links. It could be uploaded as NCPI run table as well. Files can also be uploaded as .txt file containing SVL or FTP links for all the samples. Next, we need to upload the reference genome of selected organism. Here we are using Plasmodium falciparum. So click on add more option to create get link option. Subsequently, paste the links for faster file of reference genome and GTF GFF file for reference genome. Next, to select the groups, drag the samples into respective groups. Here we are considering 2009 samples as control groups and 2015 samples as treatment groups. Now we are all set to start the pipeline. So just click on the start button. You will get a pop-up. Click on the OK to start the pipeline. To align the raw sequence reads of NGS data, here we are using the Bauti algorithm. By clicking on the Bauti option, you will get a pop-up and click on Save to proceed further. Next, we need to perform per nucle mutation analysis. Per nucle is an algorithm that calculates the per position coverage of the reference genome by all variants. The output of this module is a table with all the positions of the genome and the calculated coverages of each position by each variant. Next, we need to perform BINOM95. Mutation called BINOM95 is a module that performs calculation of the 95% confidence interval for frequency of every variant at the genome position based on Wilk's theorem for binomial distribution. After running mutation called BINOM95, now we need to run the differential mutation. Differential mutation analysis signifies differentiation between frequencies of samples for passage 1 and frequencies for samples for passage 2 of the same mutation in two contrasting samples or passages. Frequency of the mutation of sample 1 of passage 1 is F1. Here it is mentioned as a blue bar on the left and frequency of the same mutation of sample 1 of passage 2 is F2. It can be seen as green bars on the right. Now to learn more about some of the important terminologies associated with differential mutation such as regression, what is Gaussianization, standard deviation, you can refer to the lesson on Omics Logic Learn Portal under Genomics section, the lesson on differential mutation. Now it's time to end the pipeline, give a name to your pipeline and run on cluster.
This pipeline can take more than 72 hours to complete or more than that depending on the number of samples uploaded. Please keep patience when looking at the results. Once the pipeline is completed, you can find all the outputs under the download output file folder. Mapping stats table contains the mapping statistics of the pipeline. Diff custom file results filter Z score contains a significant mutation based on the th threshold of Z score that we provided during the building of the pipeline. This is an important output. Diff custom final results.txt contains mutations at all the positions. Open diff custom final result filtered score. 3.txt file and some of the important columns are chromosome, nucleotide position, reference allele, alternate first nucleotide, alternate second nucleotide and alternate third nucleotide. The last five columns contain Z score for each alternative nucleotide or mutation. Z score for first alternative nucleotide, second alternative nucleotide, third alternative nucleotide, for addition mutation and for deletion mutation. Next, to compute which alternative nucleotide mutation is more significant and preferred at a particular position, we need to compute minimum and maximum values for Z score for five alternatives, as shown here. For instance, at first position, that is NC00438.3, where thymine is replaced with guanine, would be preferred mutation because maximum value of Z score is 14.5945. Next, we can analyze which chromosomes have higher numbers of mutations between both groups of samples. We can also compare mutation per chromosome between both the groups. Chromosome 4 has highest number of mutations which include more than 7500 between samples of 2009 and 2015. It could be represented as a bar graph. Next, we can also analyze the distribution of mutation per position based on the mutation frequency as well as based on Z-score. To learn more about how the various types of analysis and interpretation could be carried out, refer to lesson number 11 on differential mutation analysis on Omics Logic Learn Portal. You can reach out to us at marketing at and we'll be glad to assist you with your questions.